Welcome to Dr. Jester Runs, and I'm gonna rant about something retarded or something that somebody lacks. The irony... Organ? The irony gene. Or the... Self-awareness gene. Either way, from Bound into Comics, George Orwell's 1984 gets a feminist retelling with approval from late author state. There is nothing more establishment than feminism and feminist. There is nothing more establishment than all of this. Uh, is the person aware that 1984 is not quite the pro-establishment tale that, that you're trying to do here? Oh my. Yet another example of the book's dystopian story being taken as a guidebook rather than a cautionary warning, George Orwell's 1984 is set to receive a feminist a retelling which will see the story retold from the point of view of Julia, the love interest of the original novel's protagonist, Winston Smith. Remember, do not criticize feminists, do not attack them, do not say anything outside of the party lines. Always, always, always go to your leaders, the clergymen, the cathedral, the aristocrats, kind of like the person who wrote this upcoming book. You're gonna see me rant about that in a jiffy. Or the, this uh, movie. Ah, for fuck's sake. Never, ever, ever go against it. You know what happens. 1984 was quite clear what happens when you go outside of the party line. Which is pretty much exactly what the feminist here is doing. Anyway, penned by the author Sandra Newman. Uh, Newman. I think I'm quoting Seinfeld here when I say... Uh, Newman. 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 Anyway, the aptly titled Julia will explore the event of 1984 through the eponymous character's female perspective, who, as noted by the book publisher Grunter, understands the world of Oceania far better than Winston and is essentially happy with her life. So basically, the lack of irony is completely lost on the person who wrote this. Because that's exactly what you need. A retelling of an anti-establishment book. Changing it to be pro-establishment. Let's see what it says. Oh, she has now no other world and until she meets Winston, never imagine one. And she's opportunistic, believing in nothing and caring not at all about politics. She routinely breaks the rules, but also collaborates with the regime whenever necessary. <laughs> I'll go suck a cock. Ah, imagine it with... No, 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 really, what, what sort of retarded nonsense is this? Don't you have an other... <laughs> Content for you to create or something like that? I mean... Uh, yeah, that's exactly what we needed. Who wants to bet that the character they are going to cast for Julia is a blank trans... It's a black trans woman Nixon of color Nixon and dwarf and disabled. Or at least one of those categories... You're going to say... It's, the, it's going to be the most pro-establishment movie ever made. Undisguised as an anti-establishment movie. <gasps> and from based on all of the reports that came out of the entire thing here, I, I'm kind of willing to bet that um, there is no, at least part of the establishment, nobody's dishing or attacking the content here. From Variety, a feminist retelling of George Orwell's 1984 being courted for screaming adaptation. 
And you can see, if you read or bother to read this nonsense, you're going to see that um, there is nothing in here that even attacks the idea that the film is going to be pro-establishment. Here we have Lean Left Ground News. Seriously, Polygon is more left than anything out there. Ah, fuck myself sideways and then call me Shirley. Anyway, Polygon, a feminist retelling of George Orwell's 1984 is in the works. Could be double plus good. <laughs> no, you retard. This is a pro-establishment movie. This is a... Well, actually, the, the book... Julia is not even out yet, and it's already being courted as a movie, or a big screen, or whatever. <sighs> People haven't even read the shit, and they already want a movie or a series based on this nonsense. What in the actual fuck? And no, and before you ask, the actual person... No, 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 let me just finish here with the Guardian left. Lean left my ass. Left my ass, you goddamn female. <laughs> Feminist retelling of 1984 approved by Oral State. American writer Sandra Newman, novel Julia will tell the dystopian story of the perspective of Winston Smith's lover. <laughs> wow. Well. Isn't this amazing? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, the, 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 Jesus Christ. And the worst thing of all is that if you go to her Twitter, you're going to see the most pro-establishment person you could ever pick to actually write this. You know, she is against the god of Kenosha. She actually believes that nobody has the right to defend themselves. Uh, she is pro-establishment through and through. And um, she's pretty much part of the machine. The entire movie or the entire book or whatever they want to call this now is going to be the most pro-machine that you could ever hope for. Even more pro-machine than the Rage Against Machine, which is now Rage for the Machine. Anyway. Let's move on. According to the literary executor at Orwell State, Bill Hamilton, the state has been looking for some time for someone to give it a 1984 or feminist uh, revamp. Yeah, I don't think you are definitely into things very much because uh, feminist or feminism is the most pro-establishment thing you could ever, ever do in the 21st century. Moving on. Anyway. Oh, let's see. In conclusion, to his promotion of the upcoming novel, Hamilton attempted to inspire excitement in its release by claiming that the millions of readers who have been brought up with Orwell's 1984 will find this a provocative and satisfying companion. Wait. A book that was made to criticize the entire fucking establishment entire fucking cathedral, the entire, no, the instruction manual that Control Left is actually using today to guide and create the retarded shit that we see today, that is happening today, is going to be a guide to a pro-establishment thing that is this companion novel, which is also expected to be, you know, either a movie or a TV show. Are you people retarded? Are you people insane? Are you people absolutely so retarded that you actually lack the self-awareness gene? You shit! Right. Julia is set to release sometime after... Nah, no man. Next novel, The Man, which sees everyone with a white chromosome vanish from the world. Hits shelves next June. Wait, haven't we actually have a comic book based on this story? It is also based on another story. Haven't we had just a TV show that was actually cancelled because of this? Are you people creatively bankrupt? Is she creatively bankrupt? Use it eleven. Is Newman 
creatively bankrupt. Probably, who knows, more news at 11. Ah, fuck me! Right. However, given the man's subject matter... It's possible Julia may never see the light of day, as it remains to be seen whether or not Newman Contract survives the inevitable gauntlet of biology denying outrage that led to the cancellation of the similarly themed Why the Last Man live action television adaptation. Oh, hello, there really is. Of course, as noted, and mere concept of rewriting the story from Julia's perspective flies in the face of Oru's warning of a fascistic future. After all, in the world of Oceania, as described by the novel, every record has been destroyed or falsified, every book rewritten, and there you go! That's exactly what you're doing! Every picture has been repainted, every statue and street rebuilding has been renamed, every date has been altered, history has stopped. And that's exactly what is going to happen. Um, well, it's happening actually in this day and age because the idiots behind the control left are actually using it as an instruction manual. That goes to you too, you fucking YouTube. Ah, what the nonsensical fucking retarded bullshit. And they hire somebody who is more pro establishment than rage for the machine. Insane. It's just insanity upon insanity upon insanity. <sighs> Eat your rights, please come. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Or a zombie apocalypse, whatever comes first. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, on that <laughs> miserably fucking hell. Have a great fucking night.